Nice. Hello, everyone. So um, today we're going to have a look at um, sets. And most importantly, we're going to look at the elements of a session. And we started this um, a while ago. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the symbol for an element. So it looks like an E, a very fancy looking E, like that. So that means, this means, is an element of. So it's a fancy code for just that statement. And then this means is not an element of. So they're virtually the same, except one has a line through it to denominate it's the, the negative version of it. Okay, now, before we go on, we're going to talk about one very important set that exists along with every other set, and this is what's called the null set. The null set. Okay, and a null set is a set that has no elements in it. For example, if A is the set of, um, you know, uh, let's say, people who are 700 years old, then that is a null set because as far as I'm aware, there is nobody on this planet who was 700 years old. Okay. Now, what's very important is you need to check that a set is a null set before you can go on with any other set. So if there's a statement given about the description of a set, ensure that we're not dealing with a null set. Okay. The symbol for a null set is very simple. It's a circle with a line through it, or it's just empty curly brackets just empty curly brackets now what's very important is this okay if you're asked about a set and you see a set like this curly brackets and it has a zero in it that is not a null set because zero is something zero is a real number it exists in the real world a null set is the absence of anything that could be in there. There's no description that will allow an element to go into the null set. However, that is an element. That is zero is a real thing. Okay? So if I was to go like this, one, two, minus one, how many elements are in that set? There's one, two, three, four. There's four elements in a set. So zero must be a thing so never confuse the null set with a set that has a zero in it okay don't use the word zero to define a null set use the word nothing okay there's nothing in there, there it nothing exists or can be put into a null set so it's very important you understand that before we move on okay so let's have a look at how we would build any set i suppose that's the thing how you build any set so when i was in school the way we were taught how to write a set would have been as follows okay and i'll go through this step by step so you understand it okay let's take the set c and the set c and i'm going to use curly brackets big curly brackets okay and i'm going to kind of explain as I go through this what everything means so that you at least have an idea or you at least understand it. So, C is the set of X such that X is a prime number Um, 
and even. So I'll go through each little bit of this to try and get it into your head what this means. So in English, how I would read this would be C is the set of values of x such that x is a prime number and even. So I'm going to try and explain where in this each one of these words exist. So it's a different color. So C is there. Is the set of values of is the curly brackets. I get another color here. X is that X. Okay. Such that is that line there. And finally, X is a prime number and even. Well, that's just written there for you. So I'll try to color code everything separately. So look, I'll read it all to you again. C is the set of values of that those two curly brackets means the set of values of and then x is this x such that is this line x is a prime number and even is the statement is the description of the set okay so i'll do another one and see can you you can pause and see can you actually read it out yourself okay so imagine this one, okay? Let's say P How would I say that? Well, P is the set of values of X such that X is a country in South America. So P is the set of values of X such that X is a country in South America. Now, the important thing here is that you're not going to be asked to write this out. But you are expected to understand that this, this thing here, what they're asking you for is to create a set with all the countries in South America in it. And each value could be represented by each X is a country in South America. Okay. So each element is a country. So that's what they need you to get out of that. Okay. So um, I'm going to do one. And then another one, and we'll see how we get on with it. So let's call this one Z. Then ten. So said. So I'm gonna see. Can you write down the elements of Z? So Z is a set of values of X such that X is a natural number less than ten. So we should have natural numbers less than 10 are starting 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 
we're not putting in zero we're not putting in 10 because it's less than 10 so there you have them okay so that's what you need to be able to do right what about q is the set of values of x such that x is a multiple of six less than 36. So what do you think the, the Q will be? So, well, the first multiple of six less than 36 is just six. 12, 18, 24, and 30. And there you have them. All right, we'll try another one. Now, let's get a bit more complicated. How about we'll just dispense with all that kind of pageantry and just go the set of values of x when x is less than or equal to 10, but greater than minus 2. And x is an integer. So, what numbers would I need to write down inside this set? So let's get it going. Let's call it the set. So, what's going to be? We'll start on the this side of it. Greater than minus two. So, what's our first integer greater than minus two? Minus one. What's our next one? Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, less than or equal to 10. So there you have them. Okay, all right. So hope that helps you, lads.